We've just had a little smattering of rain. We start to see higher quality horses emerge. And on Saturday, Spring Challenge Day, you've got some really, really nice horses. Yeah, look, starting off the day with Francine in the BSA sales race, unfortunately she, she, she didn't get a good draw, um, which is a little bit concerning. She would have benefited from a nice draw with the 1400s, a touch on the sharp side for her. I do think she's a filly that's going to probably, we're going to see the best of her over a mile on a galloping track. Uh, however, she is a smart horse. She'll have a lot to do from the wide draw, but she's in a good space and it'll be a nice run to start her off for the new season. I thought she acquitted herself really well at Grable against the boys. Yeah, she did. Look, and uh, that day they went really hard. Um, and it only being her third start, I think she was she would have preferred it if maybe they went a little bit easier and she was able to find her feet. Um, but having said that, to run fourth against the boys in a Group One, only in her third start, uh, it warranted a lot of uh, respect that type of run. Then later on, we've got uh, Ready to Charge. He's running in the Spring Challenge with the Colts. Uh, big weight in his favour. I think he's a smart horse. However, we are trying him over the 1450 for the first time. Uh, if he has to be competitive in this company over the 1450, would open up a lot of other options for us. And then we, you know, we have options to run him over the 14s and the 12. He's done well over the 1000 and the 12s, uh, but we are of the opinion that he may be able to get a 1450. Cracking run at Gravel against some really stiff opposition, Dean Canamayas and of course Sean Terry's. Yeah, his last two runs coming from off them have been really good runs. Uh, you know, running second at Gravel and then winning his last start over a thousand, coming from behind the field at um, on the inside track at Turfentine. So if he does see the trip out, I think. That that uh, he could be a competitive sort, especially with that weight in his favour. Uh, then later on we've got Gimme a Shot and uh, Lady of Power in running the Philly Spring Challenge. Both these fillies will need their run, it's just a reintroduction into the into racing uh, before the season starts. Uh, Lady of Power obviously it's much too short for her. Uh, Gimme a Shot, this is I think probably her best distance but she will be in need of the run. And then later on in the day we've got Mondial, first run out the Maidens, he won over a mile, I do think he's looking for further, he should enjoy the 1800. Uh, the inside track could find him out um, with the short straight, but I think he'll run a good race.